Hi all. We're actually going to start the semester with the hardest part of the course, I believe, and that's contouring isobars. So I want to show you on the board here how to do that. You know, reading how to contour isobars is very difficult. So let's take a look. These are the pressure, and it might look like something uh, in one of your homeworks. The pressure at different stations in millibars, so 1,036 millibars, 1,024, 1,020. Okay, the isobars start at 1,000 and they increase by 4 millibars. So the next isobar would be 1,004, then 1,008, 1,012, etc. And before 1,000 it would be 996. So then you can figure out all the different isobars. The first thing we have to do is we have to figure out well what's our main isobar going to be? And I know that 1,024 is going to be six fours above a thousand. So if we're going to have an isobar, it's going to go right through a thousand twenty-four. So we'll draw a dash right through that one. Now we have to figure out well, where is the isobar going to lie in between the different values? So where's a thousand twenty-four going to be on this map? Uh, is a thousand twenty-four between a thousand twenty-two and a thousand twenty-seven? Yes, it is. So we make a little dash mark. Uh, is it 1,024 between 1,027 and 1,029? No, it's not. So we're not going to put anything there. Is it between 1,022 and 1,029? Yes, you put a little dash mark. Once we have the dashes, then we can connect them and label it 1,024 millibars. It's usually good to do this in pencil. Make your little dash marks in pencil, and then you can erase them. And of course, you know, that's very you know, messy sometimes, but, and you erase them. The next isobar is going to be 1,028. Well, where is that going to be? Well, let's look. Is it going to be between 1,027 and 1,029? Yes, so we put a little dash there. Is it going to be between 1,027 and 1,024? No, so we won't do anything there. Is it between 1,024 and 1,036? Yes, so we put another dash there. Between 1,027 and 1,036, yes. And it's actually really close to 1,024. Between 1,027 and 1,033, yes, but it's really close to 1,027. And you see the point, it's going to be look like this, 1,028 millibars. And when you get to the top, you have to extend the line off the map because there's no points up here. Hi, I'm Dr. C from the Department of Geography and Planning from the University of Toledo, and I approve of this message.